I am making peach gazpacho, sweet cheese ravioli, and some bacon marmalade. I love to play those sweet, salty flavors. This is a workout, man. Whew. My man Trevor there gave me the salt. I'm excited. I want the judges to see that I am more than just a baker. Brenda! Hi, Chef Alvin. What dish is up your sleeve here? Bison tenderloin wow. with a tomato plum gratte and a roasted chili and mustard seed radish and peach. Hear that, Trevor? Do you regret giving her the salt shaker now? We'll see if she can pull it off. I'm confident in my flavors. I'm really looking forward. All right, let's get this going. I'm trying to get all the bear bubble out. She's making a dessert ravioli. Yeah. Oh, my God, that's mm. intense. Justine is... Oh, God, I love her. <laughs> Woo! Whoa, what? What? Set the kitchen on fire. I still have to cook my lamb and grill my fruit and my tomatoes. May is, like, laser focused right now. It's crazy. This dish needs to be perfect, because I know what I'm capable of, and when I can't produce that, I get really upset. Hi there, May. Hi, Chef Michael. So you got uh, given the salt shaker. Yes. I actually prefer to cook savory. I'm making a marinated lamb, and then I'm going to be doing some grilled uh, stone fruits on the side. So the lamb, you're going to be cooking to which color? I will be going for a medium rare. Pretty much, I'm just kissing it onto the pan, and then straight to the oven. I'll let you focus. Thank you. Thanks, May. Sounds awesome, May. 15 minutes! You have 15 minutes left! 15 minutes! Okay, that's done. Look, guys, I made a cake! Nice job, Tan. Way to go, Tan. I am so proud of my cake. It is cooked perfectly. It's good, guys! It's good! <laughs> I turned you into a baker. <laughs> May still hasn't started cooking her lamb. I'm looking at the clock and I'm running really low on time. I really need to get my lamb on. I see May has just put her lamb into the pan. I'm concerned that she's not going to get that cooked in time. May, you have seven minutes. May's in the weeds oh. now. I am so mad at myself right now. I wish I had started on my lamb a lot earlier. My fruit could have waited. Oh, and... Five minutes! You have five minutes left! You need to pop back in. You better be thinking about beautiful plating. I can do this. I can do this, guys. If this fish is not done correctly, I'm going home. Looks like Miranda's bison has a nice cook on it. Yeah. But she needs to start plating. Look, May has just taken her lamb out of the oven. She hasn't let it relax, and now it is being cut. Oh my. It's completely raw. <sighs> I'm so desperate to get this lamb cooked and start searing it on the pan. I don't think May's gonna make it. May is not gonna make it. Cardio. Didn't I just say that? One minute! You have one minute left. Start plating now. Hot, hot, hot. No, my peaches are too hot. It's just gonna melt. You got this, girls. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one, heads up! Good job, guys. Good job. I made a cake. It just doesn't look pretty. Such a great job, everyone. Now it's time to find out just how successful you were. Miranda, you please bring your dish to the front. I'm just hoping that they see that I can put savory flavors together. I made a seared bison ribeye steak with a plum cherry port sauce on top of a tomato plum gratin. Miranda, you've kept the bison medium to medium red, eh? Yes. Nice. Delicious flavors. The freshness of the fruit, the tomatoes, the peach, the cherries, they work really, really well together. It makes the bison shine. It is tender, it is nicely cooked, and I think the seasoning is close to spot on. Thank you, Chef. Nice job, Miranda. Today I've proved that sweet or savory, watch your back, because I'm here to stay. Alicia, would you please bring your dish up to the front for tasting? I think for somebody who doesn't usually bake, I did a pretty damn good job. So here I have a peach and nectarine crumble with a dark rum cream and caramelized pecans and walnuts.
You know something? I bite into that. The crumble was crispy. It was like underneath that, the fruits come together. They bind. And the best thing about this, it's not too sweet. But just like me, sweet enough. Thank you, Chef. Good job, Alicia. Me, would you please bring your dish to the front? This plate does not represent fully what I can do in the kitchen. I feel so disappointed in myself. I did a lamb marinated in garlic, thyme, and dill, a plum gastrique, and a celery root puree. The overall plate presentation, I think, looks terrific. Let's see how that lamb looks, the moment of truth. In my gut, I know this lamb is not cooked enough. I feel like I want to turn around and run out of this kitchen. <laughs> Is that what you'd expect of me? Um, I would like it to be a little less pink. I would have to agree with you. Let's have a taste. Taste-wise, it's great. Well seasoned. And the bright flavors on the gastrique emphasizes the plum. This has come down to time management on your behalf. I think so too. It was a mistake, but was it a tragic flaw? I really don't know. Justine, you're up next. Please bring up your dish. I'm proud of the dish I put out, but you never know what the judges are gonna say. I did a peach gazpacho, and I did a dessert cheese ravioli. Look at that. That's fully loaded. This really works. <laughs> this is incredible. You have achieved so many different flavors and textures in one dish. Wonderful balance of sweet and savory. It's an original. I've never had anything like it. You should be very proud of this. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Justine. Hi, Chef Michael. Delicious. <laughs> Light, true to the taste of beautiful ripe peaches. You can almost taste the sunshine in those. <laughs> it's astonishing what you've done in 60 minutes. Thank you. I feel good. I'm really, really proud of myself. Kimberly, please bring up your dish. I made a pan seared trout with a peach glaze, sweet potato puree, and a peach salsa. I think you should know that this is one of the nicest plating techniques that I've seen in this competition so far. Thank you. Let's have a taste. the fish. It's a little on the dry side. Beautiful piece of trout like that could have done with maybe a minute less in the pan. The peach lays that you seem to painstakingly make, it tastes delicious. It really Thank does. You. Nice job, Kim. Really beautiful plate. Thanks. I hope that I've done enough. The top two dishes of the night made a real statement. The second best dish belonged to a home cook who's already proven she's got range. And that home cook is... Miranda, congratulations. I am so happy. I proved it to myself, I proved it to Trevor, I proved it to everyone in this kitchen that I am not just a baker. The best dish of the night was wildly ambitious and totally original. The home cook who made it is... Justine! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I think it sends a message to all the other home cooks. I'm a fierce competitor. They better watch out.